with meteorologist Chad Evans, certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, thankfully, the heaviest, steadiest rain now pretty much West Lafayette and Fowler points north and northeast. Where you see here, Frankfort down towards Crawfordsville, Attica, Petersburg, and also towards Pence. You're kind of clearing out right now. It's still overcast. There's still going to be a patch or two of drizzle down here. Perhaps a light shower, but certainly the heavier rains here from near Remington, also eastward from Royal Center, Logansport, all the way down to Kokomo, and some of this rain. Right here near West Lafayette and Delphi, pretty heavy rain north of Rensselaer, Winnemac over towards Rochester. And all this rain moving off to the north and the northeast very slowly. So with time, it is going to taper off. And even the uh, far southern edge of the rain, which is pretty much at West Lafayette right now, will begin to pull away. And we'll just have a few very widely scattered showers during the overnight hours. So after the heaviest, steadiest rains pulling away, we've had quite a bit fall, a good half to one inch area wide, one inch exactly at Monticello, nearly three quarters of an inch here at WLFI, and about the same at Logansport, Kokomo, and Peru, six tenths down at Attica, with temperatures very cool for today. Boy, for mid-late May, temperatures in the 50s this time of day, quite unusual. We should be well into the 70s, 55 Monticello and Lafayette, and only 55 at Rochester. Again, the heavier, steadier rains pulling north, northeastward this evening, tapering to just a few showers and perhaps a little bit of drizzle. It will turn warmer as the week wears on. And, you know, there should be any more than a couple of showers tomorrow afternoon, but I think the next decent chance for any widespread rain may actually be on Friday as some storms move through along a warm front before the warmest weather of the season arrives by the weekend. And I don't know about you, I, I'm ready for some June-type heat, and that's on the way. A few scattered showers again during the overnight hours, perhaps a shower or two tomorrow, and hopefully we'll punch a few holes in this overcast tomorrow. It will certainly be warmer with highs at 60 to 65 and turning partly cloudy and a pretty nice Wednesday on tap with highs running around 71. There is that 71 degree high on Wednesday, but here comes the warm front moving northward. A couple clusters of strong to severe storms to our southwest on Thursday. Does look like a cluster of at least scattered storms coming through on Friday. Uh, there's still some question about severe weather. Right now it looks like it's mainly going to be southeast of here. Then it's just warm and dry. 85 to 90 over the weekend. Even Monday, 87. It's going to take some time before some of these storms move in by the middle and latter parts of next week. 52 tonight, rain tapering to a few scattered showers. At least a couple scattered showers tomorrow. 60 to 65 for the high winds out of the north. Pretty nice day Wednesday. Decent on Thursday. Warm front comes through Friday with a few scattered storms. And then warm and dry as we get into the weekend and becoming humid with highs 85 to 90 degrees. That's just about right on schedule. By late May, we usually see our first mid and upper degree tip, uh, mid and upper 80 degree temperatures. So uh, we're right on track. I know you're going to be worried about your hair with the humidity. Oh, I am. I always do. You know, today it's just not a good day, not a good hair day. Aww. <laughs>